Yo, 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 everybody, this is Narcoleptic Cheeto in another episode of Factorio, and today we are finally getting back to sciences. And we, I, we just need science in a lot of different ways. So one of the things I'm going to do right off the bat is go ahead and request some labs. And how much do those come in stacks of 10? We want probably, I don't know. 50 we'll say 50 for now so oh, we also need some bait some bacon we need some bacon and by bacon I mean we need some beacons so let's get some beacons and that's probably we'll say a hundred beacons okay so we have all this space and I was looking this is a very large area that has no ores in it I mean it has this one over here and that one over here but nothing in the middle like I, I don't think we have anything like this I don't even think if we well maybe it would be expanded but that's another thing not this episode but very soon I want to take from here like build a wall there and build a wall here and take all of this land and maybe, depending on what we find beyond that, maybe a little bit beyond. But we take that land, and I'm thinking maybe we also take this land right here, and then we would just have a completely massive area to build sciences and all that stuff. But for now, we're going to just do sciences here, potentially like labs and the sciences over here. Let's, let's just kind of get our let's see let's look at this um let's go do 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 let's go with four and replace it with eight and i want to go to our science book and put it there and maybe the white science and we'll put it there okay so oh my god i forgot how big these things were oh they're they're not that bad, but I think, if I remember right, this is for like one per second? Is that right? There's a tree there. Uh, let me see. Okay. For blues, we would get two sciences every 24 seconds. So we would have one, two, three, four, five, six. So we'd have 24. That means, oh, two a second. Is that right for everything? So one every five seconds, which means if we wanted two a second, that would be 10. So we should have 10 of these. That's green, that's red. That's 10. Sweet. Okay, so another thing we need to figure out is how many can we fit for one belt? Because, <laughs> alright, so 5 seconds of crafting time at 1.25 speed. Time for the calculator. Okay, calculator. Calculator. I really need an in-game calculator. I know there's a mod for one. I just, I haven't gotten into mods for Factorio. So, 5 divided by 1.25 is 4. How nice. So that means, I don't know what that means. Hold on. That means one, one machine will do one every 4 seconds, not every 5 seconds. Okay. So we need copper plates and iron gear wheels. All right. One each every 4 seconds. If we wanted a full line, yeah <laughs> it's four times that many uh four times yeah no okay we don't have the support for a full line of reds i don't think it's questionable i don't think we do i think a full line of reds God, this is would be we get one every four seconds. Well, we could speed it up, though, 
and go the beacon route and get get them three times as fast so uh, divide by three I think so one point so one every one point three seconds um oh gosh my brain is starting to hurt 1.13 seconds. So 45 divided by one and a third. I accidentally closed my calculator. 45 divided by 1.33333333. I'm just gonna hold it down on the keyboard. Okay, enter. That is basically 34. It's 33 and three quarters machines. Okay, that's not too bad. I think, or is it 45 times 1.33333? I think it's times, not divided by. So, 45 times 1.3 forever is equal to. What? Oh, stupid thing. 45 times 1.3 forever is equal to 60. Okay, so we need 60 machines to get 45 per second. Okay, so 60 machines would basically be, let's see, <laughs> my brain already hurts. I don't even know what I'm talking about anymore. Okay, let's... We need way more science than what we were producing before because we have things that are going to take monstrous amounts of time. Like our next upgrades are like things like times 16,000. <laughs> All right. So although it's every 60 seconds, uh, one every 60 seconds, one every 30 seconds. Hmm. I really want to do the speed and the range now. Ha. Ha ha ha. Okay. God, that's times 10,000. But that's every 60 seconds. So like 10,000 divided by 60 would give you how many you need every second? Or maybe uh, I need 60 things? I don't no entirely like so if I said start research that's still times 60 okay that's good to know well what if I start research and just go down the line is it still it's still every 60 seconds okay all right so hmm let me do some thinking and I'll be right back all right guys so some serious brain noodling later I think we can support like okay first things first we're only gonna do half a belt for each thing and we're gonna have a red belt because we have to braid the belts in order to do the labs right in order for the labs to basically get to all the 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 vial or the sciences that they need to get to so we only need a half a belt of each and half a red belt of that so that's 15 items per second okay uh, it doesn't matter if it's blue or red belt. It's going to be 15 items per second for us. And that means at... So if I go back to my tech tree at six... These things... One lab would be using one of each of these every 60 seconds, right? So if I had 60 labs, that would be one of each of these every second used and I, I'll have 15 <laughs> per second. But, so we don't go like way crazy on this, on the number of labs we need. So that, that would be, and it would be like 15 times 60, which is like 750, which is a lot. Or we can put beacons on them, and beacons will speed us up by three times, 
which means we can cut that number by three, which is 250. I really did some math wrong in there somewhere, I think, because really this would be, that means each one would need one every 20 seconds, 60 would be three per second, and 20, or no, 15 divided by three is five, so five things of 60 would be 300. Don't know if I did my math right. Uh, it's math in my head, so it's not exactly great. But so we can basically support 300 labs. That's completely nutter butters. So one of the things we need to do is figure out what this is going to look like. So my initial thought is obviously not doing it in a straight row. So like doing it like I don't know. Uh, like 15 at a time or something right and then doing let's see let's grit this guy right there and then so like he's just barely butted up against it and then and then that that's it so then doing the the beacons like this and so we would copy this and onto the other side Okay, can I get between these? Kinda, sorta. Okay. So that's what 30 would look like. I think. And then we would just do our dugamajiggers. Uh, okay, and then, okay, so then we would need... Oh, I need red belts. Ugh. So we would have two two like this and actually I think a third out there for whites so whites and then so we have reds and greens and then we would have here, let me so I, I really need red belts do I have any red belts in the system I wonder let's see let's go here Looks like we do. Probably have more than that. We have 11,000 in the system. Okay. So, okay. I need... I need some undergroundies. I really need red undergroundies. So, I think I saw that we have 100. I think I'm going to request all 100 of them. So, let's go that and 100. I'll go sit up and wait for them, and I'll be back with you guys in just a bit. Okay, we are back. And so this is what I was thinking of when I was talking about braiding stuff. So we would need to take this. No, it would have to go here. Oh, gosh, this is gross. How did I do this before? <laughs> it's something like you do here and then like you, it's like you skip to and you just keep doing it and it supposedly hits everything you need it to hit. And then, so like this one would have, let's see, nope, one here. So this is called braiding the belts because the reds will not connect to the blues. I think I may have discussed something like that way earlier in this season. So let's see. If we were to look at this, that's, that's wrong. Okay. Hmm. I don't think that's correct. Okay, let's just get rid of all of this. Okay. And then... Uh, 
Um... Oh man, I don't remember how to braid belts. Hold on, let me go to... Uh, is it here? No. Here? No. Uh. <laughs> oh crap. Labs, 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 labs. It's trains, it's white science. Okay, let me, oh gosh, how do you do this? It's something like, all right. Because the reason I say this is because you need something like this to get the other ones. All right, so let's, All right, let's set this up from the back, maybe. That would be here. That's the white sciences, right? Yes. Can I get some power out here? It'd be really nice. I'm just really sick of looking at the blinking. And we're gonna go over here. Although, does this remind me, where in the world am I putting power? Ugh. Okay, let's see. If I put power here, okay, I can put power there. Good, 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 good. All right, and then we would basically drag it across. And... Nope, it's got to be a little closer than that. This should be fine. Okay. Okay. All right, something like that. Yes, yes. All right, so then this guy would be needing to grab from this one. Maybe something like that. So, and then we would need, okay, I need this set up again. So let's just copy and paste. I just need to see where I need to go with this. Okay, so the middle one. To that one? No. How did I do this? Mm-mm-mm. I am seriously confused. So, like, that one would have to be... Th that... This doesn't make any sense. I had this set up before. You know what? I might be checking another video. I am. I'll be back in a bit. Okay, guys. I have figured it out. I think. But basically, I forgot that you basically need to skip one. So like this, right? Let's do that. So, like this one is for this guy, this one is for this one, then that one and that one. I don't need those, these to, I don't need one basically here to grab from this line. That, that'd be stupid, it'd be redundant. Okay, so then these two guys will be on red, which will come from over here. Oh, ho, ho, it's so much more sense now. Okay, and then this guy, oh, they're in the middle. That's why I couldn't figure it out. I was putting those on the end. And then these two guys grab from a different set of belts. So this is, we'll say red and green. That would be blue and gray. Wait, why do I have... Oh, because... I don't think I actually need that. Heh. 
think I need. Oh, I. Oh. <laughs> I was like, I don't need this one, but I do because I need it to reach over this one and into there. Okay, got it. So then I basically just have two lines on the other side. One is purple and gold, and the other one is just white. Okay. Wow, this makes so much more sense now. I am so happy. I didn't actually figure it out. I, I had to go look at an old video, and I feel like a derp after that because, well, I mean, it wasn't hard. <laughs> it was like the easiest thing in the world. I could have figured that out. I do this all the time. Why was that hard? All right, something like that. All right, all right. Let's see. We're going to copy from here to here. And we're just going to, right? Yeah. Whatever. Uh, let's see. This and this. Okay, so the blue's on the left. That makes more sense. Okay. All right. Good enough. Good enough for government work. All right. All right. That goes that way. We got another one. <clears throat> we got another one. Okay. So this is 30. Okay. And then we'll loop it around. And... Time lapse. <laughs> Alright guys, so I think this is the end of the episode, but I just wanted to kind of show you this spaghetti of belts that I was creating. It is, I mean, we have reds going into blues, and so, because I have to 
braid them. Now this one I didn't have to braid, but this is actually the red line coming out. But I had to switch to blue right here because down here there's red and if I were to try to skip that, like if I were to make this red, this red would connect with like this red and that'd be a bad thing. Same here, this is a blue so this needs to be a red and that has to be a, I switched back to blues to get to the, to the long belts and oh my gosh. I had to label everything just so I could keep it straight. Um, and I wound up having to, I was going to braid, like these are braided. I was just going to keep braiding them, but then I realized I had to switch here. So I just moved the reds and greens over one, and that seemed to solve the problem. I think everything is connected in the correct place. I tried to follow my own guides here and make sure that everything was connected. Like this is blue and gray and I think blue and gray is actually the red line so it comes in here goes in and then gets shoved over to this line and gets pushed through and that is the red line versus this is the red and green line so the red and green line jumps down as you can see to this one gets curved in priority out and then jumps down here and then goes in and jumps over to this blue line which I mean it works but oh my gosh keeping it straight in my head was nightmare that's why I got these combinators just so I could like like I said label everything and this one has to be different than this one I think moving forward we might be okay well, I have to... Wait, no. <laughs> no! I just realized I have to make these connect to something else. And they can't be blue. I mean, these have to be blue, so these can't be blue. They have to be red. Huh. <laughs> Basically, I'm going to have to copy this thing over. And just hopefully I can put it somewhere in here. Uh, so it will match and then we can hopefully copy everything from like here or here down to get everything in um, because basically right now Basically, the reason I'm doing this, by the way, is I want these four inputs to be the only thing that are the inputs. So I, these come from outside sources. Reds and greens come in. They go in. And then they go, well, if I follow this line, they go around. And then they go all the way around here, up and around again. This is the blue line still. The blue line finally comes out here. And then it has a right right output so like if it's backed up sure it'll come back around and loop all the way through this line again but more than likely it's not going to be so it's coming on out here and then jumping down to the next one which will then go through and then it'll jump down to the next one and the next one and the next one until we go through about 300 of them I might go through like 270 or something just so we do have a loop back but just it'll it'll go through that many and then it'll come back up and then plug itself basically right back in uh probably to these over here and then it'll just be a loop i think something like that or maybe it'll come up and it'll hook in over here i'm not totally sure but i wanted to show you this my brain actually is kind of in pain so, wanted to show you it. I think that's the end of the episode. I will probably have the lab sorted out by the next episode. And then we'll get into the actual sciences and trying to fill up a full half belt. A full half belt. A, a complete half belt? That still doesn't make any sense. 22 and a half items per second. How about that? Because these carry 45 items a second if you fill up both sides. So, anyway. If you guys liked the episode, please leave a like on it. If you haven't already, please subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next episode.